uncivilized disobedience works best if you have a large group of people who all believe in the same principle. Civilized disobedience works best if you have a small group of people who want to communicate their message to more people. Civilized disobedience is about communication, while uncivilized is about power and strength. Communication works great in changing people's minds if they want their minds to be changed. If they don't want their minds to be changed, guess what you gotta do? I think it's great, Karma Police, that you went out there and expressed your dissenting opinion. However, you failed to say anything that ZZZ's fans would appreciate. Basically, what you are supporting is a form of obedience. When the police unleash the dogs on you, and you put your hands up and lay on the ground, you're being more obedient than the dogs are. One more thing. I can't believe I'm saying this, but... You, uh... You said, in a paraphrased way, this is almost exactly what you said. History has shown uncivilized diso History has shown civilized disobedience is effective. I think that's almost hilarious that we live in a culture of such uh, we live in such a culture of Nietzsche's slave mentality instead of the master mentality that you think nonviolent protest is more effective than violent protest. Think of Nazi Germany. How effective would it have been if all of the Jews staged a non-violent protest? What would have happened? Ah, I can see it now. I'm gonna pick the great Jew sit-in. A bunch of Jews all sit in a line. Oh, rivers of blood. Wow. That nonviolent protest worked. This is what happens when you stage a nonviolent protest, or a violent one, against a civilization. Not against a few people, or against some policy, but against the civilization for what it is. They hate you. They hate you so much that they would knock your brains out in a line, and they'd be happy doing it.